Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. We are joined at this time by Kimberly and Buzz Olson, and they are owners of Tesoro Winery, which is in Old Town Temecula. And usually for these segments, we have the winemaker come in and talk about the wines and stuff. But uh, the last couple ones that we've been doing, because a lot of them are doing their harvesting right now, mm -hmm. um, we've had just the owners come in, and we also had another wine bar. So you guys, you have your uh, tasting room and everything in Old Town, but you're also in the works of moving. Correct. To, yes, so we're, we have uh, our vineyards are on Rancho California Road in the wine country, and we have the plans for our winery and tasting room to be built sometime in 2010 uh, on the on the property out there. In the meantime, we opened up a winery in Old Town. I'm sorry, the winery in the industrial area uh, mm -hmm. as a warehouse, and we opened the tasting room up in Old Town. Okay. And so what are, are you guys open, is it something seven days a week? What are the hours there? Basically seven, seven days a week, especially during the summer. Um, close some Sundays uh, in the off season. And so. you guys also do um, entertainment on Saturday evenings where you have caterers come and bring some food as well? Correct, yes. We, we have entertainment from 7 to 10 on Saturdays, and sometimes it runs past 10 o'clock. And we've arranged for uh, catering of uh, dinners or salads or cheese plates from the local uh, restaurants in the area in, in Old Town. Mm -hmm. And your um, Tesoro Winery is fairly new. You guys have been there a little over a year. So how did the two of you become involved in this? How did you how did you come one. up with the idea of that? Well, okay. Well, basically, our dream was to build a, um, a bed and breakfast on the property when we purchased it over seven years ago. Um, and then we kind of changed our focus to doing the winery first, knowing that we would ultimately build a winery. So we decided to do that first instead. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so then we... Uh, took our honeymoon to uh, Italy, spent 10 days in Tuscany, and it was all over. By that time, when we came back, it was going to be Tuscan all the way, so the winery would be a beautiful old world Tuscan building. Right, and you were saying, um, you were saying earlier, everything from the glasses to the bottles to the name of the winery, Tesoro, it all means... Yeah, treasure. Treasure. Mm -hmm. Treasure, yes, exactly. It means treasure in um, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, and... Tagalog. Tagalog, which Tagalo. is uh, Filipino. Very interesting. Yeah. All right, so let's get started with this. Uh, we starting down here or down there? Mm -hmm. You tell let's me. Let's start over here. here. Okay, so I'll hand that to you so you okay. can tell us what kind of wine this is. Okay, tell we're going to start with, I'll, I'll describe the wines and Kimberly can describe the, the pairing up. Uh, this is our 2007 Riesling. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a little off dry. It's almost what you call semi-sweet. About 2% sugar on it, so that puts us in just above the uh, dry area. Mm -hmm. We found it's very, very, very popular. This is a silver medal winner uh, in our first release of this kind of a wine. So it's a great wine with salads, with uh, hors d'oeuvres, or just by itself. Mm -hmm. right. Should I pour some? Yeah, go right ahead. Please do. That's why we got the glasses here. And then there's, yeah, the, those for you. And something else that you, were, that you were telling me about earlier also is your winery uh, received an award for being um, the best in the Inland Empire? We were voted by city voter. My Fox LA, My city, Fox voter. LA city voter as the best Inland Empire winery. 2009. Oh, 2009. To you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you this is much. really good, nice. by the way. Thank you. This is delicious. The reason this can, can go from very dry to very sweet, and our winemaker and I uh, chose to have it just off the off dry side, and it's very, very popular. Okay, so you work next, you work side, side by, by side, side with, with the winemaker. winemaker yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, make, he perfects the wine, and I just help him decide what it is that seems to be the right fit gotcha. for our, our lineup. Gotcha. So what are we pairing the Riesling with? Oh, today... Kimberly, she's going to tell us about that. <laughs> our um, chef, Dorothy Blandy, with Artist Gourmet Cafe in Temecula. She does all of our, all of our catering for us. Mm -hmm. She knows our wines backwards, so she puts some beautiful foods with our wines. Uh, today she prepared for us, it's a Stilton cheese with apricot. Oh, that's what the orange is in yeah, it. Yeah, it's little pieces of apricot. It's a nice, sweet cheese. Goes very well with the Riesling. We have little, little tiny champagne bubble grapes mm. and uh, sesame honey um, almonds. Mm. With the crackers. That is excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me a little bit about the labels on your wines. Did you, could, did you guys kind of well, come we, up with that together? Or? Yeah, we started out with... Our uh, very first set of labels, our logo was very simply drawn, sort of a sketch, really, of what the building will be like, represented on the, on the countryside with the cypress, you know, and the vineyards and whatnot. And then um, 
the second generation of the labels, we had the logo repainted in an oil painting. Uh -huh. So we go from sort of a stick drawing to this beautiful representation with mm -hmm. all the romance of what it'll be like there in, in the valley. Oh, okay. And it's actually so a, it's a reflection of the actual reflection of, of, the, of pretty much the way the winery will look oh, okay. in, in the wine country out there. Oh, very nice. Very interesting. All right. Shall we move on to the next wine? Sure. I'll slide this over, over here. We have, we have there our yep. little uh, dump bucket. Sometimes I, I forget to oh bring God. those, and so I have to <laughs> make sure there's one swear, there. Yeah, you know, you're supposed to, generally you're supposed <laughs> to sip the wine, but I end up gulping it. So what are we trying next? This is uh, a 2005 Merlot, and uh, this is also from Temecula Valley. Uh, it's actually just outside of Temecula, just across the border in San Diego County is where the grapes were grown. Um, this is a very dry, full-bodied Merlot. In fact, more full-bodied than you would expect a Merlot to be. It's almost like a Cabernet Sauvignon, but this is a, just a, a wonderful wine. It has uh, been in the bottle now for about 14 months, mm -hmm. so it's settled down. It's very smooth and soft at the finish, but still very dry and very robust. And we're pairing uh, a meat with it. We are. We're pairing the uh, roasted lamb Ooh. with uh, young steamed baby broccoli, heirloom tomatoes, and gorgonzola. Okay. That, that gorgonzola cheese really stands up to the to the uh, the robustness of, of the merlot, mm -hmm. right. the dryness of it. Pairing up is sometimes a a, a fact of of the wine not overpowering the food, the food not overpowering the wine. So exactly. that's the that's the whole mm -hmm. process trying to pair up. So it's a good combination of the two. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, and we have one more wine that we're going to go to fairly quickly. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't let you, no, I didn't let you try sure, your that's wine. That's perfectly fine. Here, let me dump <laughs> it. Thank you. Okay. Mm, we've got the last yeah. one. So what do we got here this time? This is a Petite Syrah, and has a little story behind it. We um, had occasion to have somebody come into our tasting room uh, probably about six, eight months ago that had planned on opening a winery but ran into so many roadblocks and so many issues and money and they decided not to do that and they had wine available and they said, would you like to buy some? So we purchased bulk this Petit Syrah that actually came out of Clarksburg, which is north of, uh, just south of uh, Sacramento. Okay. And it's an absolutely dynamite wine and it's one of those things that people should know about. That's, the wine is not always from your vineyard. You look and you find and you, you taste and feel and you find something that works and that's what works. Right. So this is a, a really great wine for, uh, for, for the kind of meal we have here. And just for sipping, it's a great right. nose. This year we'll have seven varietals that we'll crush this year. Now initially we had only one that was our Syrah and now we have seven. Oh, okay. So we're crushing uh, a Syrah, a Viognier, a Dolcetto, which is Italian, a Tempranillo, which is Spanish, a Zinfandel, and a Mission grape from, that originated from the California missions. Oh, okay. So that's you guys our, got that's a lot of work ahead of you. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Wine's coming out. So Kimberly, if you would tell us about the appetizer that's there. Oh, sure. We're appearing today with our, um, it's a roast beef tenderloin with caramelized onion and cremini mushroom tart. Oh, that's this is roast, roast beef. beef in here. This is yes. roast beef in here as well. Yeah. Oh, Isn't that dynamite? I did not mm -hmm. think that that's what it was at all. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, we have a goat cheese and beet salad uh, with a balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Oh my god. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is excellent. Yeah, she's and crazy that, good at what she makes. And for it pairs us, very yeah. well with the petite syrah. Yeah. The and so yeah, she works with you guys. All the time. The mm -hmm. same way mm -hmm. in pairing the wines mm -hmm. with what she's going to make. Now, you guys have um, an event coming up, so why don't we talk a little bit about that? We do. It's a wine club member only event. It's our first annual harvest party and grape stomp. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a lot of fun with that. We're going to um, do a little harvesting and do a little grape stomp with a competition for the most juice out of their barrel when, they, when they're stomping. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a... Um, uh, a Lucille Ball look-alike contest too. See, that's different. We were talking about that before because there's a lot of wineries that um, sure. that you have been doing the grape stomp or have that that event coming up also, yeah. and they do they you know whoever can stomp the most grapes. But I like that idea too of who can do the best Lucy look-alike. And we'll finish yeah. it up with a nice uh, probably a, a, um, a barbecue, a barbecue uh, prime rib or not prime rib but rib dinner mm -hmm. for a barbecue out on the out in the vineyards. in the vineyards. And that takes place in October, correct? October fourth. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how can people get more information or if they want to be maybe become wine or club members or just purchase some wines, visit your winery, how can they go about doing that? Well, the winery's on in uh, Old Town at the corner of 6th and Front Street in Old Town. Mm -hmm. Our website is 
sorrelwinery.com. Okay. And they just go on there and get all of our event information, all of our wine information, uh, right from the website. Anything you can possibly think of. Absolutely. Perfect. Well, thank there. you guys very thank you much very for coming much. in. It was very nice thank meeting you. both of you. Thank you. Best of luck to you guys thank in your you. new establishment. Thank, thank you. you. And uh, we'll be right back with more right after the break.